Do you remember about this time last year when I said that I hate diving cold? Uh, I didn't mean that I hate diving in cold water, I just hate being cold while diving. Well, this winter, I'm kicking it up a gear. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. It is so great to see all of your smiling faces out there in YouTube land. I hope you're doing well, and welcome to this, our first product review for 2021. I've been busy testing a lot of new diving innovations that I've added to my arsenal as a scuba diver, but before winter ends, I want to introduce you to my latest weapon in my ongoing fight against getting cold as a scuba diver. So if you haven't done so already, make your next dive on our subscribe button, click that little bell icon down there, and that way you'll never miss any of our future content. Allow me to introduce you to the Venture Heat 40 Watt Pro waterproof diving undersuit, a heated undersuit for scuba divers. my knife go. Swear to God, I spent half my time looking for a knife. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Divers Ready Venture Heat Connection. I'm going to go through how to set up a Venture Heat undersuit. Really simple, really straightforward. I'm going to give you nine things that I absolutely love about this suit. And I'm going to give you three things that I think could possibly be improved on in future iterations. Also, if you haven't seen our previous video on how to fight the cold as a scuba diver, you might want to check that out first because this video is going to kind of lead on from there and I will link it up above so you can check that out and then come back to this one. Right, Venture Heat then. Let me start by saying this is not a sponsored video. We have not received any financial compensation from Venture Heat to make this video, although they were kind enough to send me one of their products to try out in order that I can review it, obviously. Let me tell you a little bit about the company, particularly how we got together. Venture Heat were one of the very earliest supporters of Divers Ready. When we were still a small channel, before we had like even a thousand subscribers, I think Oscar from Venture Heat reached out to us to see if we'd be interested in making some review videos and help us grow our channel, help them with content and the whole thing. Fantastic. Trouble was, it was the middle of summer in Florida and it didn't seem genuine to be reviewing heated undergarment products when it was like 96 degrees outside. Roll forward to November, we met up with Oscar at DEMA. We reviewed uh, some of their products in their booth, went over some of their offerings. That made it into our DEMA series of videos. And then from there, they wanted to support our Great Lakes trip. And you know that because of COVID, that all fell apart. Now, finally, it's winter. The water temperature here in Florida has dropped. The air temperature has dropped. It's a little bit cooler. And I can finally get my hands on one of these bad boys. And to be honest, the last couple of weeks, I've been teaching a lot of deep, advanced rec courses. We've been doing a lot of deco hangs. This couldn't have come along at a better time. It's been a real game changer for me. So let me just say right now, thank you very much Venture Heat for being an early supporter of our channel and for sticking with us. First off then, how does the system actually work? Well, what you've got is a polyester vest that zips up on the side and has two heating element patches, one down the front and one down the back. You also have two zippered pouches that hold the two lithium 5.2 amp hour batteries. Now these are rechargeable batteries, the charge is included, and the suit will run off of one or both batteries at a time. You've also got this hepatic controller, so this is, gives you a vibration alert under the suit and also three LED lights as you turn the suit on and off and cycle through the three power levels. It's incredibly simple. There's really nothing that can go wrong at all. Add the crotch strap to make sure that the suit doesn't ride up and then put it underneath either your wetsuit or your dry suit and enjoy nice warm toasty dives. That's it. It's really that simple. Right, let's get into the nine things I absolutely love about the Venture Heat undersuit. Number one is the fact that it can be used wet or dry. It's perfect for use down here where it's never really for me cold enough for a dry suit, but sometimes you just wish you had that little extra, mm, just a little, ooh, you know, I'm just a little chilled at the end of a dive and I'm almost contemplating buying a dry suit again, like a tri -lam. 
and then I think no it's not it's Florida don't be you know and this just makes up that little bit of difference so if you're an ice diver and you have one of these oh, it's got to be revolutionary you slap this on underneath your dry suit and it's going to keep you as snug as a bug in the proverbial rug second thing I loved about it was how easy it is to put on and take off I found the best way was to just zipper it up and put it on like a t-shirt over the top and then you've got this very thin very lightweight kind of crotch strap which just does enough to stop it from riding up and then same thing taking off wet super easy um, nice and convenient there uh, third thing I love about it is it is insanely warm it's too warm down here on level three you can't have it cranked up I had it on level one most of the week in 70 degree water and I was toasty and I was looking at other divers who were on safety stops or deco stops with us and they didn't look as happy or comfortable as I was number four thing that I love about this undersuit is the controller it's simple it's one button you know that I love simple and over engineered this thing is a sealed body design with one simple switch you press it for two seconds to turn it on you press it each time you want to cycle through the heat it is automatically out of the box paired with the vest. You don't need to do any kind of pairing. You don't need to download an app. I'm so damn tired of downloading apps. It's unbelievable. This thing has three apps you need to use it. Three, no apps. Just connect straight out of the box, easy. Love it. The fifth thing that I love about the 40 Watt Pro from Venture Heat is that it has front and back panels. This is not always the case with other brands of heated undersuit they don't always give you the front and the back and that really makes a difference when it comes to keeping your core nice and toasty which in turn heats up the blood and allows your extremities to stay warm so definitely definitely recommend the fact that they've got the front and the back heating panels it makes so much difference number six is that i love the slim design and the fact that it fits under your existing wetsuit you don't need to buy a wetsuit a size up in order to shove this bulky undersuit under it uh, even with the battery packs which are quite large they're quite long they're still quite a slim design so even under the wetsuit it doesn't feel like your wetsuit's getting stretched out it doesn't interfere with how your bcd or your harness fits you um, it's just a very low profile design i care for that a lot seventh thing that i love about the venture heat is that it is perfect for tech divers it's waterproof to 100 meters i didn't get it that deep this week i think we hit about 45 meters was our deepest dive uh but yeah it stood up batteries lasted ambient pressure all that good stuff uh it did the job number eight would be its build quality it seems to be really well put together really sort of triple double stitched on all the seams uh the zipper seems to be really robust and i think it's going to take a beating obviously i've only got about 20 dives in it right now but i'm pretty sure this thing's going to last the test of time and last but not least the ninth plus if you will is that it's breathable so when you have cold water here in florida but the surface you might have some direct sunlight you can get up from the boat leave it on and not sweat to death it will give you a nice toasty warmth but at the same time it's breathable so you don't feel like you're wearing a plastic bag and overheat on the boat afterwards and it's still useful above the water as it is below all right so let me tell you a little side story here my student steve last week was so impressed slash jealous of my heated under vest while we were doing his advanced rec training that he ordered one right there on the boat before we even got back to land add to cart thank you please true story all right so that wraps up all the pros that i can think of about this system really really love it let's talk about some things i think could be improved upon in future iterations starting with the drying time yeah the drying time this is still sopping wet i put this on to record the intro to this video just now i've been out of the water over 24 hours this has been hanging up out of direct sunlight but in the fresh air and it's still sop i'm sopping wet my t-shirt is wet from this so they need to figure out a way that yes it's breathable but how can we get it to dry faster and in the mornings yeah i was diving every day morning and afternoon all week so of course it's going to be a little bit damp the following morning but this was still sopping wet putting on in the morning cold so you're kind of starting on a negative good news is i quickly learned that of course you can just turn it on when you're not wearing it and preheat it and then put it on toasty so that's definitely a top tip but yeah they've got to figure out how to make this thing dry faster it's breathable 
it just needs to dry faster. Second thing I didn't particularly care about is the batteries take quite a long time to charge. It's not a big deal for me because I come home at the end of a day's diving, they easily running on the lowest level. I got five hours of battery time, which is great. That's two nice long tech dives. And then I wanna take out my batteries, charge them overnight, and sure, by the next morning, they're fully charged. But I can imagine if you were running this on high power and you wanted to come in and do a tight turnaround between dives, you wouldn't have time to recharge these. And as far as I can see from the Venture Heat website, you can't buy spare batteries separately. But I don't know, maybe you could contact customer service and get yourself a backup set. That would be a good idea. The third thing, and it's a purely practical thing that I think could be improved upon, and that's the connectors. The connector between the charger and the batteries and the suit itself. Um, obviously, it's not 100% of a watertight connection, so you're getting some water seep in there, and that means you're getting some corrosion. So you just need to be vigilant about cleaning the connectors each and every time you use them. I just used a bit of kitchen paper with some vinegar and had them looking shiny and new. But I can easily imagine if you forgot to do that, it's gonna corrode out the connectors and the whole thing is gonna be useless. So you've gotta be on top of the cleaning. That's about it. I truly love this product. It has been revolutionary. It has been a game changer for me. I'm looking forward to next winter so that I can wear it more. What I've decided to do, ladies and gentlemen, is make a dedicated playlist on the channel of all the review videos that I do, group them all together, and that'll be like the equipment review playlist. You guys know I'm super picky about what products I choose to review. I like things that are truly innovative, but at the same time, I'm hesitant to make changes to my own setup because I'm very happy with the way my diving has evolved over the time. But if you want to check out that playlist, certain pieces of gear that I enjoy, I will link it up above there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. I hope you enjoyed this, our review of the Venture Heat 40 Watt Pro heated undersuit for scuba divers. My name's James. This was your Divers Ready video for this week. Dive safe, dive often.